Hello everybody. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and Black Friday and it's the Sunday before Cyber Monday, so hopefully y'all can get some pretty cool stuff on the on the interwebs. Um it's been a little while since we made a video and uh I'm sorry for that. I've been kind of slammed at work and just at a loss, I guess, of what to what to make videos of. Um but we have gotten some new stuff and changed a few things around and uh, as you can tell it's still sitting up there but uh, I figure what I would kind of do is go over and show you some of the things that have changed and some of the things that have stayed the same um, if you look back there we've still got the the bug still there the buggy is still back there samurai is still there um, Jake said that he's actually going to send the one six block off to be um, bored and cleaned up and all that stuff. Um, I have actually been looking for another motor for the bug because um, I was I was pricing all the pieces and even though I could build it, it I'm not willing to build it on my back porch. Does that make sense? Um, where everything would be out in the elements and in the wet and all that stuff and I still need to have my my case taken and you know tested and all that and make sure everything is is good there and I was having a hard time deciding what kind of uh, like what size jugs to use what pistons to use should I get a a different crank should I it's a million questions that would have to be answered um, so everything over there is still pretty much the same. Um, here's some things that are different. Jethro has hard doors. And quite literally, like the best thing I've ever done ever to a Jeep. Um, they're actually really nice. There's a little crack right there. Um, and I need to, to glue the, the panels back on, which they're, they're dirty but they work and work well oh and also Jethro has a real console now and a different top um, we now have a modular top that came off of a different Jeep um, and also no more 32s and no more black wheels but we got some studded snow tires actually off of the Jeep that all the other stuff come off of um, so, saying that we have another Jeep now, um, it kind of reminds me of Pigpen, but I uh, don't think that's a very good name for it. Um, here he is. It is a 1992 4.0 automatic um, Wrangler, just like Jethro, and he's wearing Jethro's shoes. But uh, I got it, and I was like, hey, I'll do 4 swap on Jethro and make that awesome, and yada, yada, yada. And then I was like, I'm not losing my man pedal. I don't want to go to automatic. It's just, it's not what I want to do. Um, I've actually sold the hard top that was on Jethro for, to keep that one. Um, I've sold a couple of other parts. Basically, I'm in the green on this. Everything that I've took off of it, plus money I'm well in the green on it good investment as far as I'm concerned don't ask tab um, and something else you guys may not know about yeah that is a Mustang um, this 2005 4.0 just regular v6 convertible um, that's my $300 Mustang I got it it did not run at all wouldn't do anything um, there's some paperwork trouble on it. I'm getting all that straightened out. Um, I've had to put, so far I put a wheel bearing, a radio, and a couple other. I've repaired a fuel line, put a battery. Total, I'm in this thing about 400 bucks. Um, and that's after the fuel line, the battery, and the radio, and everything. Um, super cool little car, 137,000 miles. I, I could never have 
bought the car for for what I've got in it. Um, it's got real Shelby wheels, which are pretty sweet. I don't like the fact that they're 20s. I think it's kind of ugly and pretty tacky, to be quite honest. Um, but it is what it is. And old Betsy's still here. Subaru, I don't think she'll ever go anywhere. That was Tab's grandmother's car. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a, a fleet update, I guess, as far as what all's here and isn't here. Um, I should find out something something more about the the samurai in the next week or so. Um, and maybe maybe it's gonna work. If not, oh well. Um, but if you guys want to see more on any of the particular cars, um, feel free to to comment, ask questions. Um, I'll tell you anything I can tell you. If there's anything that you need help with, just let me know. And I'm not the best ever, but I'll do everything I can to try to get you pointed in the right direction. But either way, I hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.